What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more early hardcore. We're going straight back to the Twins hardcore. Is it versus? Do they style it as versus or and? I think it's just and. Uh, but it's the Hyperbusters EP on Mocum 2020, and we're going to listen to the end beginning, which sounds contradictory or paradoxical. Uh, perhaps it you know speaks to something that is a singularity, meaning the end is also the beginning and vice versa. Nevertheless, uh, it does continue a series of tracks, one of which I'm forgetting in the moment, but the original is Pandemonium, which was, I believe, a track created specifically for a big hardcore event, Pandemonium. Uh, and I'm, I'm trying to remember the name of the track on the other side, which also features the sample Pandemonium. And this track, which came out a few years later, and again in 2020, it also features, or I guess this track, because the record's already on the turntable, uh, but it also features the Pandemonium sample. So I sort of see it as this running sort of um, unofficial series within the Twins Artcore work. Once again, shout out to him. Also produces under the name Danny Tribe and Atomic Baseline. And yeah, uh, it's just a really cool track. It's got atmosphere. It's got a really cool like breakdown segment with a lot of um, melodic... Uh, intensity and again atmosphere it's a tune that you wouldn't be surprised to hear on Cenobite it sort of has those vibes again I think it's very much in the vein of the other tracks on this record which are all having it they all have a bit different flavor but they're all very much you know early hardcore fast and slamming but um, again this one has a bit of that like Cenobite, uh, Cenobite atmosphere if my brain and mouth will work correctly in any case, let's begin the tune. This is uh, the Twins art core, and the track is The End Beginning. The King of the Plains has risen, has risen, has risen.
it's a kind of track that you could definitely uh, end the set with, um, but also one that you know gives you some opportunities in the minute or so before that to mix out. But obviously you want, like, or at least I would want that final vocal moment to hang over whatever incoming tune that I'm mixing into. So uh, again, a tune you can end a set with, a tune you can use in the middle of a set. In the moment I'm forgetting exactly how it started. Oh, that's right, it has sort of that like syncopated hip hop rhythm. So yeah, you can start to mix with it as well, which makes it a very versatile track. Uh, and yeah, I just love the atmosphere of it. Again, it's got you know tempo. It's you know powerful. It's got that big thunderous percussion, but also um, again very sharp and tightly wound acid. Some different flavors of acid. That sort of bubbling up acid, which we heard like right in the ending section, um, as well as earlier in the tune. I do enjoy that as well. So yeah, just top production uh, and great like sequencing of the track overall, and just. You know, the, there's that like high sort of icy melody, that section kind of has some atmosphere, and then the sections plural with the, that um, ethereal female vocal, I really think that works well. And again, it's one of those things where, you know, something could be all in one direction or all in another direction, but when you have something that's both ethereal and floaty and mystical, but also wicked hard and charging, it, it creates this interesting like contrast and agreement at the same time so uh, I think this is a good example of that in any case let me know what you think and I will see you next time peace